Hi guys, this is Ray Snow. In this video, I will explain how to create simple retro game sound effects. Something like you hear when you play NES games. First of all, I'm not an expert of creating sound effect or anything. In fact, I had never made one until about a month ago, so I just wanted to share what I have found and learned through my limited experience. So. Please don't expect some high level stuff. So if you are interested in creating sound effect but don't feel like doing too complicated stuff, then you might find this video useful. Anyway, let's start. So in terms of sound creating software, there are many choices I think. And uh, what we're gonna use this time is Beatbox. It's a browser-based sound creating tool and uh, it's completely free. And this might sound a bit strange, but what I like about Beatbox is its limitation. Sometimes having too many options make you confused, especially if you are a beginner. So this is the screen and uh, I'm not sure how your default Beatbox screen looks like. It seems every time I open Beatbox, it randomly pick up some like uh, some random sound and settings. But anyway, what you need to do first is select this scale and choose export. And then select this type. So here we can select the type of the sound and this time we use this chip wave. So this sounds like a, like a NES sound chip. Yeah, and the wave is square, unison num, and delete whatever displayed in this envelope section because we don't use them. Also, click this effects, and uh, for now, delete everything. So. Okay, we are ready. So now we can input the note. And there is a keyboard on the left side of the screen. So if you click one of the keys, you can hear the sound. And if you click one of these slot or a grid, you can input a note. And you can play the sound. Like this and uh, if you click the note again then uh, you can delete it if you select a note and uh, drag your mouse then uh, you can change the length of the note okay first we're gonna create a coin sound like the one you hear when you get a coin and I think the Super Mario's coin sound is the most iconic and famous so we're gonna create something like that and to create a coin sound we need a pretty high pitched note and uh, this is not high enough so we click this key and increase the key so let's choose the highest one this B then input a note at the B here and make this B note very short like this and then input E note and uh, make this a bit longer like this okay let's play this yeah something like this then we're gonna add a little touch let's click this uh, where is it? effects and choose Reverb. So we can add reverb. So let's hear again. Hmm. Maybe we can add a little more effect like this echo. Maybe we decrease the delay like this. Hmm. Yeah, something like this. So you can adjust these 
parameters and find the best balance for you. So anyway, that's how you create a coin sound. And once the sound is done, you can export the file from here. Click file and uh, click export song. You can name it and uh, yeah, export it as a WAV file or MP3 or MIDI or JSON, something like that. Also, if you, uh, if you copy or bookmark your current URL, you can basically save your progress. So whenever you want to resume your work, you can type this URL or open the bookmark. Okay, next we're going to create a jump and a power up sound effect. All right. Okay, so this time we don't need to use high pitched notes. So let's change this key to C. Yeah, and let's delete this echo and the reverb too. So first input a note. So basically anywhere is fine. And select the note. Then drag your mouse like this. And then, so there is a section called the fading out. So you can adjust this fading out effect here. And uh, for this one, we just cut the note abruptly like this. Okay. Yeah, maybe a bit longer like this. Something like this. I don't know, I feel if you let it goes up by like a one octave, so in this case from D, D flat to D flat, then it kind of sounds like a jump sound. Also, I have noticed you can change the characteristics of the sound by adding one more note, or for example, like this. Or, yeah, like this. And for power up sound, Okay, uh, let me increase the key a little bit, like G, and uh, change this, oops, delete this. Okay, yeah, for power up sound, we let it go up even more, even higher, like two octave, like this. Maybe a bit shorter. And maybe add one more note. Yeah, something like this. Okay, next we're gonna create a door sound, door open sound, and also door unlocking sound. And for this one, we use this lowest track. In beatbox, you can use four tracks, and the lowest one is basically for rhythm or drums. First, let's select this type and choose this chip noise, and then input a note here and uh, increase the length a little bit. Yeah, like this. Or you can use two notes like this. So first short and then a bit longer like this. Like gate opening sound, something like that. This also sounds like an explosion or something, but uh, in those NES games, you often hear a sound like this when you open a door or a gate. And the next is a door unlocking sound. Uh, for this one, what I have done is uh, 
like this. So yeah, this is my <laughs> unlocking sound. Maybe you can use this for pressing switch or something as well. And finally, stairs sound. And I tried to kind of imitate early Dragon Quest stairs sound. And what I did is like this. So input three notes. Yeah, <laughs> like this. It's very simple. Uh, okay, that's uh, that's it for now. Like I said, I'm just a I'm just a noob in this genre. So I'd like to hear if you have a different method. I'm still running this. So yeah. And uh, if you like this video, uh, please let me know. I don't usually create this kind of video, but uh, if you like this, I might make another one to introduce as a sound effect. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, see you again. Bye.